I uh, honestly didn't see it coming. I struggled to stop it. I eventually did, but not everybody is, uh, not every survivor has been that lucky. In uh, 1979, and entering my junior year of high school at Bradford Central Christian in Bradford, PA, uh, David Polson was my English teacher. He had just uh, came out of the seminary and was ordained a priest a few months before. Uh, as my English teacher, we uh, obviously met and became friends, and uh, that relationship began to grow almost immediately. You know, David and I, he became my spiritual mentor as well as my educational mentor. I wasn't doing well in school. I was struggling. I was looking for friendship, and he provided that. Early on, he would put his hand on my leg or try to tickle me or uh, put his hand on my shoulder. These were all things that, you know, made me think but over time he had done it so much that it, it didn't set off any alarm bells whatsoever. You know, they find somebody that they can believe in, especially a man of God, um, that you, you know, you put all your trust in. And then later on they, at some point, destroy that trust, and that is traumatic. The physical is traumatic, but the emotional psychological damage that's done is also traumatic. Um, but I'm not after Catholics. I'm not after, I'm not trying to tear down the church. I'd, I'd love to see the evil inside the church t be taken away and let the Catholic church redeem itself. My reconciliation with my Catholic upbringing is really going to depend on, you know, the bishops of the state of Pennsylvania, the cardinal, cardinals such as Cardinal Whirl and the Pope. If this doesn't change, then I don't see myself coming back to the church.